All right, guys, the time has finally come. We have left France and we are in Italy. I don't know if you guys know. You probably know. If you're watching this channel, you probably know me. I played two years in Italy and potentially it was my favorite country to play volleyball in. And the cars are so loud. Today we are in, or well, we're about to be in, Chieri to meet up with a friend of mine, a former teammate. An American, I call her Moose. Uh, you guys probably never heard that nickname, but you'll find out why soon. Is that my Kiki? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to give her a big hug, so I had to wear my mask. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking around. This place is cute. Oh, I hear action. Oh, false alarm. That's not Moose. Okay, there's a second, a second button I have to push. Okay, we're in. Where are you, Moose? She's making me go upstairs. Moose? Yes. Moose from Moose. Yes. Should we tell them why, yeah. why you're called Moose? Probably. Probably, but we'll save it to the end of the video so there's some suspense. <laughs> <laughs> but Moose is American. She played at Penn State. She's an absolute gun on the volleyball court and also just one of my favorite people. So I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's go into her apartment and yeah. see where, where she lives. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. this place is so cute. Down for the long run now. Red Corvette and my drop top down. Yeah, this is it. This is my place. It is so adorable. <laughs> the walls were like that when I came here, but I wanted to paint them like a neutral. <gasps> Piggy, you have to come in here though. Yes! And I have to show you this. <laughs> this one keeps sewing, but I have Kiki pictures of us. Oops, sorry. Oh. <laughs> but oh, I look. need to get like frames for these ones because um Oh my god, you're so good. Yeah, I just I don't know. A little piece of, of home and yes, I remember that. Oh my gosh, that was my birthday. <laughs> So this is my five minute journal. Just wake up and you just like write what you're grateful for. Daily affirmations and three amazing things that happen at night and then how I could have made my day even better. Oh. <laughs> this is my jewelry box. Mm. It's Italian marble. Mm. This is the bathroom. <laughs> Fancy. It's, it's a, a little messy because I kind of destroyed it last night getting dressed. Whoa, it's huge. Yeah, it's long. And that's not just the camera lens. <laughs> it's very long. <laughs> Normally I go to the bathrooms and it's just like, okay, boop, boop. Like that's it. Yeah, except it's like, my like, shower is a little bit like this, but I shower at the gym, so it's fine. No, it's so nice. Okay, okay. Right? now I have to like, you can go in. Gotta film everything now. This right here. <laughs> I have not used it yet, and I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Like, you see the dust? Like, I need to clean that because I haven't used it. Literally, like, since I've been here, I've used it. This is American. That's an American thing, yeah. Nobody knows how to use a bidet. The place is gorgeous. <sighs> I'm glad you like it. It's, uh, I have my little wine bar right there. I, uh, went to a vineyard the second week I got here. It tastes like seven wines, and, like, I had to take these home. I was like, I need to buy these. I, I need all them. of them. Yeah, it's George. That's your plant, George? Yeah. <laughs> He's doing good. My orchid died the other day, so I throw that out. I was really sad. But this is getting into photography, too. She's a cannon girl. I like it. Today's journey. 
literally the other day I, I was I was parking my car and there was like a herd of cows just like <laughs> right by the road too. I was like, uh a herd you're not supposed to be wild there. cows. Yeah. <gasps> Alright, so now that Moose has shown us around her apartment and I dug into her private life a little bit, <laughs> we're gonna go into the center of Kiari and have a bite to eat, have a coffee, and uh, maybe show you guys a little bit of what it's like living in Italy as a player. Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Fancy mobile. It is actually really nice. And clean. It's clean, but I need. To, I was gonna vacuum before you got here, and I got lazy. Don't you worry about that. Look at that. Start stop button. That's how you know it's fancy. <laughs> Kiki, we're just bougie here in Italy. So huh? bougie. <laughs> Parking Alamos. <laughs> I feel like I should. Be such a rebel. <laughs> the tires aren't gonna pop, right? No, the tires will be fine. Then we leave them. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> I'm still, you have to forgive me because I'm still trying to get used to this city. I'm still new here. So we can discover it together. Yeah, so we'll just discover it together. But yeah, I've been here a couple of times actually. Okay, let me get out of the room. This right here, um, I would get some coffee when, you know, it was nice outside. If there's one thing Italy does well, it's coffee. So first we're gonna go and eat food or eat coffee? Eat coffee, drink coffee. We're gonna eat some coffee first. We're gonna eat some coffee first. <laughs> and then we're gonna drink some food. <laughs> we're gonna drink some food. <laughs> yeah, why is it so dead? Where are all the people? <laughs> is it always like this or just because it's starting to be winter? It's probably because they know that we're out here vlogging. <laughs> And they're like, we don't want to be in that vlog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dressing like a European every year. Like, you like, look oh, beautiful. Like, look at Most that. This so is the outfit of the day. Like, I need Kiki every day to just <laughs> feed me compliments. Like, words of affirmation. That's yes. I need in this life. That's the thing. We need to hang out with each other way more because yes. I always feel so good around you. We have this like bond that it can't even like describe though. Like, two positive peas in a pod. But we just get each other. You we know, do. we feed off of each other's energy. And also, Moose was so nice with me when we played together. She's always my model. She needed, she needed <laughs> one was. spritz before she would be my model for hours. So I was like, I, I couldn't do it. I need some liquid courage. <laughs> this place is a cafe. It's actually really nice. We can go there afterwards. Okay. But yeah, there's good coffee there. And then there's like this little cute place. Oh, it looks open. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if they let me in with my cami. Look at that little tab. And this is why I miss living in Italy. Look at this delicious food. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that food was so delicious. And now we've ordered ourselves a coffee. Apparently, like, you're not supposed to have, like, a cappuccino after, like, 11. It's like the cardinal rule in Italy, like, but does that stop me? Absolutely not. Definitely. I get a cappuccino whenever I feel like a cappuccino. It is cold outside right now, but do you think that's gonna stop me from getting a gelato? Of course not. I'm wearing my wool coat and I still want ice cream. This is the best in the world. It's one of the best. There's other places here. But... So, uh, pistache? How is it? What's the verdict? It's so good. This chestnut one's really good. Yeah. Wow. I was not expecting that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the gym. Have a See good training. <laughs> All right, now that we have a full belly of food, have drank our coffee, explored the town of Chieri, here we are. Pala Fenera. Fenera? Fenera. Fenera. My Italian is gone to.
It feels so good to be back in Italy. And not only for the food and the coffee, but for that level of volleyball. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but the attacks are stronger, the defenses are more incredible, the jumps are high. It just feels a faster and higher level game. And just, ugh, even in training, it was so cool to see. And also, Julio is actually my ex-coach. We played together, we did play together. He coached me in San Rafael, so cool to catch up with him again. And I hope you enjoyed meeting Moose and seeing her around her apartment. Oh, we haven't told you guys why she's called Moose. I'll let her tell that story next, next time I get her on camera. So that's it for now. That's where the girls are training, working hard, getting their sweat on, volleying, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing and following along. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Going in, I was very, um, not, I, I was a little naive of what to expect. And, you know, I was just a very like happy-go-lucky girl. And I feel like after I left Penn State, I just kind of, I've learned that, okay, like there's a time to be serious and there's a time to, you know, push through hardships and hard times. And I really think that Penn State was such a challenging part of my life. Like it was so demanding, so yeah. like, grueling each day you know practice three hours a day if not more and yeah. i think like the grind of it like it really showed me how much i could like push myself yeah. and i know that sounds like cheesy but like really like it, it, it tested every bit of me really and so i think like after going through that experience i was like okay i can really handle anything else i feel like but, yeah yeah